Welcome to Salvador, the capital of Bahia. Bahia is a Brazilian state, and on our tour with a member of the United States Tour Operators Association, we started off right here in Salvador. This waterside city had a colonial section with cobbled streets and antique buildings. It was a postcard at every turn. This is the center square in Pelourinho, and this whole neighborhood is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And you can see why, walking around here, all the history is written in these colorful walls. It's really beautiful just to explore. Hello, bom dia. Bom dia. Kelly. Nice, prazer. Muito bem-vinda a essa Bahia maravilhosa. She just said, welcome to Bahia. This is a woman in a traditional Bahian dress. This beautiful outfit here is what they used to wear back in the colonial times, with the petticoats and the beautiful necklaces. And I love the head thing. <laughs> Salvador is one of the oldest colonial cities in the world, and it was the first port of the Portuguese, serving as the center of the slave trade in Brazil. This resulted in Bahia having a beautiful blend of Afro-Brazilian culture. It's now home to the largest carnival party as well, and you can feel the happiness of the people through their art. I, I love and the, the houses and the, the beach, because there is in the here and the there beach and the beautiful beach. I love the Salvador. A trademark of Salvador is their Bon Theme ribbon bracelets. We're here at the most famous church in all of Bahia. It's the church of Senor de Bon Theme. He's the protector of this region. And that's why many people come here to tie on their wishes on these bracelets right on this very church. These bracelets you'll see a lot in Brazil and especially here in Bahia. Each one is associated with a patron saint. So for instance, this one is the saint of health. So you wear this if you're looking to, you know, have better health. This is one is for love. This one's to protect your wedding. This is for peace. So you see a lot of people wearing them or they tie them here right on the church and they make a wish. They do three knots and they make three wishes on each bracelet. All right, now I can't take this off. I have to leave them on until they fall off, which could be years, right? Yes, I don't know what do you wish. Well, so. <laughs> I'll always remember Bahia now. Yes. <laughs> Capoeira is a martial art that looks almost like a dance, and it involves music, acrobatics, and elements of combat. It was developed by West African slaves, and now has grown into a popular sport with a very dedicated following. Since members of USTOA provide travelers with truly local experiences, I was invited to join in a capoeira lesson. I had so much respect for everyone in the room, as those capoeira moves are not easy. You have to be strong and graceful, and I think I just need a bit more practice. But boy, was it a good workout. I was also able to have a chat with the well-respected capoeira master, Naul. I practice capoeira for 20 years. I teach class here in Bahia, Salvador. This beating bow is instrument, a capoeira instrument is very important and capoeira is the soul of capoeira. You have a nice voice too. He does it all. Bahia also includes Lensois, the starting point for many that explore the natural beauty of the Chapada Diamantina National Park. And it was here that I had my first experience with caipirinhas. So I'm here with our guide, Rodrigo, and he is a true Brazilian, so he knows how to make a very good caipirinha. So he's gonna give us a little demonstration. So let's learn. First thing you need to do is to cut the lime in four or six pieces. Just put it in here. Next, we need some sugar, yeah, thank you. We're gonna smash it, okay? Very strong. Take all the juice of the lime, mix with the sugar. And now, our asa, okay? It's distillated of a sugar cane. Let's make it four. Now we can put some ice. Saúde. Saúde. There you have it. 